Hi, I'm Phil Kenyon. Welcome to Visio Putting. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the T-Line Training Aid and how you can use this device to develop some of the key skills you're going to need to become a great putter. The T-Line is designed to give you feedback in three really important areas. The first one is your perception of straight. Do you have a perceptual bias and how you can best manage that bias? By lying the, the T-line on the ground, directly at the hole, the unique features of the T-line are gonna allow you to take your setup position and refine your perception of straight. Now, the second thing is that the T-line is gonna help give you feedback on your alignment. Once this device is aligned at your target, you're gonna have distinct um, references for the club face being square or the line being lined up at your target line. And that's gonna help refine what square to the target looks like. While finally, striking puts down the T-line is gonna give you feedback on your start line. You can actually roll the ball down the T-line and then you're starting the ball within 0.75 degrees of error, which is a really accurate start line. So let's have a look at how we can use this T-line and what we need to go through to get the most out of those three elements of feedback. So the first thing we need to do is align the T-line device directly at the hole. Now, once we've got that T-line device lined up at the hole, what we then need to do is to take our setup position. And what you'll immediately notice is when you're in setup position, you'll get a perception of where that line points. Now, for a lot of people, that line won't point at the middle, at, at the middle of the hole. You could have a perceptual bias. And understanding that can help you um, adapt to try and improve that. So by um, tweaking your setup position, you can very easily uh, alter your perception of where that line points. If you have a perceptual bias, that could be the driver as to why you aim poorly or indeed want to manipulate with the putting stroke in order to start the ball on a particular line. For example, if that line was to look left, it's very uh, commonplace for the, for the golfer to want to align to the right or stroke it to the right to um, account for that perception. That uh, misperception of the line looking left can very easily create a push bias. So by getting into your setup position and then refining your setup position either through distance from the ball, uh, neck bend, ball position, we can start to play around with those features of the setup in order to best find where that straight line looks straight or where that perpendicular reference looks square. So immediately T-line is gonna help give you a sense of your ideal setup position. Once we've got T-line in place, obviously we've got this perpendicular reference then from which we can square the club face to, and then that's gonna give us distinct feedback on the club face angle. So we can start to manage what that club face angle looks like when it's square to the target line. The other thing that we can do is, um, you know, this is a great drill out outside, but once we've got that T-line lined up, is even just to kind of get a Sharpie and um, draw a line just on the edge of the perpendicular reference, then remove the T-line. So then we, when we go back in, we have a reference for our club face angle so we can practice the club face being square to the target without the T-line. Now, with the T-line back in place, the final element of feedback that we're gonna get is our ability to start the ball online. So by hitting some puts down the T-line, we're gonna get really clear feedback as to the club face angle and your strike location at impact. If the club face is closed or we're gonna strike out the heel, it's very easy for that ball to start left of the T-line. If the club face is open, we strike out the toe, then it's very easy for that ball to start right. We're gonna need less than 0.75 degrees of error in our start line in order to roll the ball down the tee line. So in summary, we've got three really clear elements of feedback. Feedback on your perception of the line, okay? You know, if we have to change our setup in order for us to perceive that line better, then I would encourage you to do that. We're gonna get feedback on club face alignment, and then we're gonna get feedback on our ability to start the ball online. So by practicing with a T line, it's gonna help refine what I believe are three really, really critical skills in order um, that you need to develop in order to become a great putter. We can use a T line on a straight putt, 
we can also use a T-line on a brake input. By working around the T-line, or working around the green with a T-line, uh, lining up the T-line to your target point, it's, it's actually going to give you great feedback on your green reading as well. You know, you're going to have to align that T-line directly um, to, a very, you know, to a functional read in order for you to strike the ball down that T-line and for the ball to go into the hole. So it's quite a versatile tool. You don't just have to use it on straight puts. It's also going to help uh, give you feedback on any perceptual bias on a breaking put as well as a straight put. So T-line device, great feedback, perception, aim, start line. Give it a try.